We are on your side tonight as the weather finally warms up for us. It is not a bad time for this warning. More than 250,000 people were hurt in lawnmower related injuries in 2010. 17,000 of them also under the age of 19. That's according to the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. And we're told that it happens a lot when it's been raining and folks try to mow like today or when you head out in flip flops and a foot will slip under that mower blade. And as one teenager shares his story tonight, the message we got over and over. You you can never be too careful. It was about six o'clock in the evening. I just settled down with a good book, reading on the couch. Russ came in and just called my name, and I just knew right from the tone of his voice that something was wrong. Two weeks ago, Russ Fedorov was mowing the lawn. I was just in shock, just looking at it, staring. Like, I didn't think it would happen. While the Basically, mower was still running, Russ reached down to the cover on the side thinking something was stuck. All of a sudden, I, I like this, my hand shaking and I look and it's gone. With a very bloody finger, Emily and her son, 17 year old Russ, headed to St. Mary's ER, where doctors say they see way too many patients like him. People will hold on to the bar and still try to dislodge things. Um, I know I've been tempted to do it myself, but really it's there for a reason. They did x-rays, shots for pain, evaluated him and realized the tip of his finger was gone. Emily is upset to hear how frequently this happens. I mean, he's taken shop class. He works at the hardware store. He knows all the rules. It, but again, it's, it just took that split second of a bad choice to happen. And I just didn't realize how often this does happen. It's really unfortunate. So this is something he's going to have to live with for the rest of his life. The good news is he won't have to mow much this summer. You know, I think he's got a free pass for the summer in my book. <laughs> His message to other mowers, he hopes his story can help. It just takes a split second of just not thinking. Now, Russ doesn't play any sports, but he does play the guitar and says he's still kind of figuring out how to adjust. He is headed to prom, though, and plans to cover up the injury, or he says maybe try to dress it up nicely somehow. Yeah, it just takes one second of, yeah. of not thinking. And we got another piece of advice that you had to apply yourself, That's right? right. It was probably the day after I interviewed them. And the experts told me, too, if you have to try to get something out, even if you're being safe and let go, give it that extra second. I had something clogged, and I waited to make yeah. sure that thing was really, really off. They say people are in too big of a hurry. Yeah, it seems obvious but boy be careful yeah I can never be too careful yeah.